This is your reading for the 7th through the 8th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, I do those. Please visit the website at pinkarianjim.com. If for some reason that site is acting up, you guys may email me as well at all for one dot one for all seven four at gmail.com. All right, guys, so let's see what's going on for you guys here. Bowsers, the lovers. Mm. Definitely, I feel in love with someone, but there's a choice to be made here. Very important choice, I feel. Um, I feel like whatever this is about, the decision that is made is going to be long-lasting. Okay. Gemini energy there. Hmm. Very strong connection with someone. Impress. Wow. What I'm getting here is that you guys, there's somebody that wants a new start. There's somebody that feels like this connection would make them happy. That there is definitely room for growth here. Um, this connection is everything. I feel Aries, Taurus, Libra, um, individual may be here. But what I'm getting here is that there's a choice either, hmm, there's a choice here between somebody that you have a very strong connection with and maybe somebody that you have a child with because they may not be synonymous, not the same person for some of you. For some of you, there's just a choice between being in a relationship and having and feeling fulfilled, feeling um, happy and abundant that, you know, you can have it all with this individual and just being single. Um, those of you who are single, you're leaning more towards the um, relationship because you see it all with this individual. But as far as, but as far as like, you know, the person that you have a child with, those of you who have a child with someone that, you know, you also have a history with, but there's another person involved, you're struggling with, you know, to make a decision here. Because this is a choice that, again, I feel um, is going to have lasting consequences, okay? So I'll keep that in mind. Let's see what else we've got for you guys. Three of Wands, Aries. I feel strong Aries, Libra, Gemini, or, you know, they have a combination of these elements in their chart. Okay. But someone has currently turned their back on this situation. Okay. And they're looking elsewhere. They're looking out to the horizon for other things. Somebody has given up here on this situation. I'm feeling strong Aries with Gemini. Okay. For a lot of you. And this may be a cross watcher here. And if so, it's vice versa. Okay. Let's see what's going with the lover's energy. Queen of Cups. Definitely love here. And I feel like it's a shared energy between you and the person that you have a very strong connection with. Um, let's see about this Empress. The Nine of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting 
this is Virgo energy here. That for a lot of you, I was, it, it's just hitting me, it's flooding me. For a lot of you, you're actually single, but now you're willing to, you're wanting to offer, or somebody here is wanting to offer something here. But there's also somebody that has their back turned on the situation that is not seeing growth in this situation. So maybe you and someone else here have not talked in a while and um, there's somebody that is is seeking, you know, other opportunities elsewhere. But somebody is ready, I feel, to um, commit, ready to offer something to the other individual. Okay. Yeah, there's there's somebody here who's wanting to start over. They and I'm getting too that with the individual that has turned their back on the situation, there's something that they have already started. And I'm I'm thinking it's more of with their home, with their finances. Um They've been working on themselves. There, there's definitely growth within them. They're working on um, building their finances up, establishing uh, a solid financial situation for themselves here. Okay, um, and I, I'm feeling like this person is the empress for you. I think you see, you see abundance with them. I don't know if they actually see you guys anymore because, again, I'm feeling like there's been a lack of communication in this situation with this individual. Okay. But I'm getting definitely that you guys want to offer. I'm feeling like you guys are wanting to offer something to this person. And even though they have their back turned on the situation, um, just because they don't expect anything from you is what I'm getting. Okay. But at the same time, I'm getting too that if there was something that was offered, that they would be open to it. Because you see how, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get down here. God dang it. Okay, I'm leaving it like that. See how they're facing each other? They would definitely be open, I feel, to a conversation, to what, to see exactly what is being offered in this situation. Because what I'm getting here is that this person will not accept anything less than um, a solid, grounded, stable commitment. Okay. Let's see what's coming towards you guys, whether it's a person, whether it's energy. Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. Ace of Wands, brand new start. Brand new start. I feel like somebody's offering something here with the Ace of Wands and Three of Wands there. That's Four of Wands. That's, a, that's stability. That's happiness like within yourself, within a relationship. Okay. Hmm. Four of Cups. It's cancer energy. But somebody has, somebody is like, somebody's feeling like they, not that they don't want to take the offer, but it's almost like somebody's in denial is what I'm getting here. Somebody's in denial. And I don't know whether it's you guys or whether it's the other person here. But if you can see the Four of Cups there and then the Ace of Wands, like, I don't want to start over. Well, you know good and hell well that you do. You know, it's like that. Somebody's being a little stubborn here. That's what that is. Let's see why this is happening. And trying not to think about it, but also really wanting to look at that. 
Now I gotta get out here and get this card. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Ooh. <laughs> Why this is happening? It's because this is what was meant to happen. This is what was meant to happen. With the lovers and a star being here, you guys are star-crossed lovers. Everything that happened between the two of you, this was meant to happen. And it's all about soul growth. What I'm thinking here is that there were there is a lesson for you guys to learn and there's a lesson for this other person to learn. And I'm thinking the other person's lesson is more about self-worth, more about self-love even. And then I'm feeling like you you guys, your lesson has everything to do with being present. Um not taking things for granted. But this is this is your destiny. This is your destiny. Aquarius energy there. And then the Hierophant. I feel very strong connection here. Um I'm I'm feeling like this is really supposed to be your life partner. For those of you who this is like truly resonating with, this individual that that you're thinking about, this is meant to be your life partner, but we all have free will, okay? And I feel like I've said this to you guys before, but this is written in the stars. It is. You're cosmically connected, like seriously. Okay, so we have Taurus, um, Aquarius, Cancer, Aries. Aries is strong. Aries probably with Cancer in their chart. We have Virgo here. Um, Gemini energy is here as well. Okay, maybe Libra. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.